What's going on guys, Last NASCAR fan here, and welcome back to some more diecast reviews. Uh, there will be a bunch of reviews I will be posting for the next, I would say, about week. Um, got some interesting reviews, as I stated before, that will be uploaded, I think, a couple days. Like, I think I'm going to do at least um, about two reviews per week just into the build-up lead-up to um, Halloween where I'll have a little bit of a special die-cast review with some candy cars um, that I haven't done reviews on. But I'm really excited to get into some of these reviews. Um, but yeah, so whole slew of die-cast reviews. I'm really excited to get into these. First one we're going to be taking a look at is a very interesting recent Champions uh, diecast release back in the day a lot of people if you watched nascar especially in the early mid 2000s you probably remember a bunch of bush series driver busts such as uh, unfortunately like aaron crocker uh aaron fike um i forgot the other uh usac driver that drove for like um uh, Aikens before Braun Racing bought them out. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I, I can't remember the name. Okay. Well, I mean, there's also like Kyle Kristoff. But Hendrick had a slew of, bu slew of busts that um, were eventually fired. And Kyle Busch had to drive the remainder of the races. And those two that we have are... I'm just going to... Uh, there we go. Sort of. There. Eh, you can sort of see it. It's kind of hard to see it, but... Um, so we have the 2005 Blake Fees and Boston Reed number five Lowe's Chevrolet Monte Carlo Bush Series for Hendrick Motorsports. So these two basically were like swap-in drivers just to see who was like the better developmental driver. In the end, both sucked and were out of the ride by the end of the year with Kyle Busch taking over, of course. What's really funny, though, is that I picked this up off Whatnot for a very, very good deal. And basically, yeah, like, this is a really nice car. This is the last year of the Racing Champions stuff. So you would get your collector card. It's a very nice collector card, actually. Got all the stuff back here. Just the who everyone everyone that was involved oh poor Jim Long he did not he had to deal with both Blake Fees and Boston Reed just constantly underachieving or crashing all together every freaking week and there there's clips on YouTube if you don't believe me like there's there's plenty of clips showing detailing of how they were immediate Hendrick busts but this is kind of like the prime early example of um Hendrick Motorsport drivers that be that tried to have that they tried to create as developmental drivers, but in the end were ultimate busts. Fair to say this car is very similar paint scheme wise to the 2004 Kyle Busch scheme the year prior because Kyle Busch was still full time in the Busch series in 2004. He made some selected cup starts in 2004, but then took over uh, the took over uh, Terry Labonte's seat right after the 2004 season after Terry was fired or let go or one of the two. I don't know if his contract expired. I didn't really look into that, but. Kyle basically replaced Terry going into 2005, and this is what you had. Blake Fees and Boston Reed. Um, so, yeah, the color itself, uh, silver, blue, red. Got that nice uh, Hendrick uh, 5 font, the neon yellow. This is a very good throwback, actually. I, I would love to see more throwbacks to these Lowe's cars because they're really well done. I really enjoy the older Lowe's paint schemes as throwbacks, especially early, mid-2000s schemes. Got Lowe's on the, on the front hood. All your contingencies. Uh, focus. Why isn't focusing? Why are you blurry? Why? You get the point. All your contingencies over here. Got that nice little swoosh pattern, swerve curve pattern. Um, uh, got your B and C pillar sponsors. 
uh, shop vac, Quaker State, uh, Freightliner, uh, the works down there. And then on your driver's side sponsor, Spectre side, as well as uh, Briggs & Stratton, uh, Hitachi Power Tools, that's right down there. Quarter panel sponsors are Quaker State and GMAC, which is actually Ally Bank, if not a lot of people know. GMAC re re um, um, restructured itself into Ally Bank. Uh, you got Lowe's on the deck lid, and then on the TV panel, you got Lowe's again. But yeah, overall, this diecast is a very interesting one itself. Uh, it kind of just likes to poke at the um, how Hendrick Motorsports couldn't really make developmental drivers and in the end had to fire two very underachieving ones for poor Kyle Busch to get more seat time uh, for the ride itself. But thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for brand new videos. I'll see you in the next diecast review, whatever. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Keep on collecting.